Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead on Netflix movie review. Oh, that's right, baby. It is time. It is time for J-Rock, the one and only, what J-Rock likes to call his movie versus trailer review. We will answer the question, which was better, the movie or the trailer to the movie? Come on back, and let's talk this thing out. Hi, J-Rock, hands come back to you too. What is happening in here, in here, with the millions? And millions of J Rock fans from all over the world. J Rock is here because it is time for J Rock's Oh, that's right, baby. We will answer the question for Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Which one was better? Was it the movie or was it the trailer to the movie? Did the movie live up to the hype that the trailer tried to hype it up to be? So we're going to break down the official trailer of this movie and we're going to talk about what was in it and what was not in it. Did they put everything in the movie that was in the trailer? Did they take some stuff out? Did they make you think something that was in the trailer was going on that was not actually going on in the movie? We're going to do that. But before we do, if this is your first time coming to the Great Ones channel or you are back, one more again, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button while they are chanting J-Rock's name. Now that you hit that subscribe button, take a second, comment down below where you found the Great Ones channel, hit that like button and share, let the world know that the YouTube people's champ, Rock is here. And be sure, if you got a reaction request or anything you want me to react to, drop it down in the comment section below with a link. And if I choose your request, I'll give you a shout out right here on the Great Ones channel, shall we? Now, let's get to it. If this is your first time on the Great Ones channel, basically what J-Rock is going to do, we're going to check out Army of the Dead's uh, official trailer, all right? And we're gonna go through uh, parts frame by frame, try to break down and seeing exactly what was happening at that particular moment in the movie? And does it match what the trailer was actually trying to sell us on? Because you know, you guys have known this. There have been trailers where they have these badass scenes in it where you think it's actually going to be in the movie and it turns out it's not. Okay? You remember the uh, Mortal Kombat movie where Scorp uh, Scorpion said, I am Sub Zero. That wasn't in the movie. No, I'm sorry, not Scorpion. Sub Zero said it. I'm so, Sub Zero. Sub Zero said it. He did. He said it in the trailer. He ain't said it in the movie. Scorpion said, "I am Scorpion," but he ain't say that. Those are the little things I'm talking about. All right, they hook you to try to get you to watch the movie, and then you, when you watch the movie, you're like that wasn't in the trailer. It's false advertising, doggone it. I'm just tired of it. Anyway. Let's break down this movie. First of all, let me just say this, all right? This does contain spoilers, okay? So if you haven't seen it already and you don't want to spoil for you, J-Rock says, click away, go watch the movie, and then come back to the Great Ones channel and watch the movie versus trailer review, okay? Let me say this. This app, this movie, now, if you don't care if it's being spoiled for you, and you're going to watch it anyway and it don't matter, hey, stick around. We're going to chat about this, okay? Uh, This movie was too long, okay? Movie was... Over uh over two hours. Okay? Now uh and it was a, and it was a lot and it wasn't like it was action packed filled two hours. There's a lot of dryness in this movie, okay? Alright? There's a lot of dry areas in this movie, a lot of dead time, okay, in this movie. They tried to fill it with some character building. Look, bro, this you can't feel you can't build character in no okay. I guess you can if it's like The Last of Us or something like that, but th that those that's that's unique storytelling. This is just basically shoot 'em up, bang bang. We trying to rob, get money out of a safe, and some zombies are standing in our way. We need to figure out how we gonna kill them and not get bit. Okay. Uh I think this movie could have been much better if they had chopped it off by half an hour. Make it a good hour, 
30 minutes, hour, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. Because the movie was just too slow paced. And it was, they, were, they were trying to pick up the part, pick up the pace in different parts of the movie. I'm like, dude, this is a zombie movie, okay? We want to see what makes these zombies different from all the other zombies that we've all, we haven't seen already, okay? All right, like how many different ways, next thing you know, the zombies are going to be freaking like, you know, having kids and babies and that sort of thing. Giving birth, you know? Like Planet of the Apes up in this punk some of my Watch your profanity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's not what this movie was, okay? It was a lot of dryness. They tried to do a lot of character building that no one I didn't really care about personally. It was so it's it was almost reminiscent of Titanic. That three, four hour movie, it like damn it, it don't need to be this long. Okay? It don't need to be this long. Okay? We know what's getting ready to happen. Damn it, bring on the iceberg and the water. We want we already know what's gonna happen. Okay? You could have you could have made you could have started at the end of Titanic, because everybody knows what's gonna happen. It kind of worked your way up to that point in about an hour. Okay? We knew what was happening. But I think they wanted to really lay it on real thick with, you know, Rose and Jack. But whatever. Back to this movie. Too slow pace. It wasn't as much action as I thought it was. But let's go frame by frame and let's see what happens. Let's see what's happening in. Now, obviously this is open. This is right at the beginning of the movie. So the movie starts out. They released the first 15 minutes of it. Uh, I didn't get to do a reaction for it for you guys. I apologize. But basically, you know, the military is carrying this, you know, secret, you know, trans protect transport or what have you. All right. And there's this couple that just got married in Vegas. Okay. They're on the same highway, you know, out in the desert, you know, you know, uh, borderlands type, you know, nowhere, nothing around them, that sort of thing. Right. On their way to Vegas. Uh, this convoy is on the way to Vegas this couple's leaving Vegas or whatever and on the drive down the wife of the newlyweds gets she finna give her husband uh, some fellatio okay all right while he's driving on this highway now granted just them okay uh, any of you have ever had that done can understand how it can ruin your concentration okay Especially if it's being done properly. Okay? Okay? Ah! This for the grown and sexy. I'm talking to the grown and sexy right now. But anyway, uh, well, as they're driving, you kind of see it happening. You see it, you see it getting to that point, it's building up. There's about to be this head on head collision. Okay? Uh, and if I gotta go out, damn it, that's the way I wanna go out. Huh, you know? I'm getting fellatio next thing I know. I'm with Jesus. I mean, you don't get no better than that. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, they have this big collision. So, the container on the convoy that's carrying this, you know, secret transport or whatever, turns out that it's this advanced weapon type zombie that they created. And it ends up getting loose, killing everybody around him. But it bit folks and scratched them and they turn into what he is. And then they, and as this zombie type thing, I can't remember what they call it, walks towards the cliff, you see, you know, the camera pan up and you see Vegas. And then you hear, you know, the Vegas type music in the background, I think it was Elvis or Sinatra, I can't remember, um, playing in the background. But then while all of this is happening, you see this slow motion of, you know, how it all unfolded, you know, how Vegas literally turned into zombie world, zombie land, if you will. Everybody's getting attacked. You know, you got Elvis impersonators who turn into zombies. And then you're seeing some of the characters and how they came about. Uh, there was this, this, this kind of jacked up scene at the beginning where this daughter loses her family. I mean, this, not the daughter, this mom loses her family. Um, she ultimately ends up finding her daughter. You know, they reunite, they hug. 
um, Batista and some of his crew are trying to get, you know, some survivors out of the, you know, whole infestation that's happening. Um, but unfortunately, the mom and the, you know, the, 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 the mom gets grabbed by the zombie. The daughter turns around and sees it. She goes back to try to save her mom. She ends up getting grabbed too. And so while the, you know, the zombies are snacking on them, Batista, you know, they're heartbroken. They're, Batista's trying to run there and save them, but folks are saying, holding back, no, 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 You know, don't go back. And they end up having to drop like this big, um, I forgot what you call those things. Whatever, you know, shipping crates or whatever, those big metal shipping crates closing off the world to the closing off this part of Vegas for, to the rest of the world so they can't get out okay so that mom and that 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 part was kind of you know messed up I'm like wow this, this we're starting like this okay all right that was kind of jacked up but right here we see where Batista or his character I can't remember his name so I'm just gonna call him Batista you know, that's all I know Dave's first name he's tracked down they're looking for him. They want him to go and, you know, retrieve millions of dollars uh, from a safe in the zombie land. Okay. All right. Um, he, this is the part where, you know, the, the, the wife and the newlywed husband get ready to die. Um, they end up dying. This is Dave returning back home from a mission. Um, there is this kind of jacked up part in here too. Uh, this is what he's crying because that's his wife. He had to kill his wife because his wife got infected and turned into a zombie. And the zombie was trying to get into the room where his daughter was. I think it was his stepdaughter, if I'm not mistaken. And he had to kill her because she wasn't she wasn't human no more. All right, and so he's like heartbroken that he had to do that. And I think something happened between he and his stepdaughter. They lose touch or whatnot. So let's keep going. Um, this is when they have arrived. Uh, they've gotten all their, you know, Dave recruits, you know, his crew of people to come do whatever they need to do to help them steal the money. This is when, and, and keep in mind, this was like two hours long, okay? This is more than two hours long. There was a lot of dry parts in this movie. But they get there, turn the lights on to the casino. The music starts playing. Um, this is him recruiting, you know, his team to help him unlock the gate, the blueprints he was given. So he's gearing up, make sure everything's good. He gets his team, everybody shows up there. Um, I guess that's like one of his exes. He's recruiting her to go with him. Um, they're both gonna get like $15 million or something like that. And this is Ghost. Uh, damn, what's his real name? It, it, it leaves. Anyway, um, this is them. Yeah, recruiting their guys. He's supposed to be a, a, a sniper. She's the helicopter driver. Uh, he's gonna be the guy that's gonna crack the safe to get it open. And that's his stepdaughter or daughter. I don't. I can't remember if she's his daughter, daughter, or stepdaughter. Hang on. Um, but that's who she is. And how she gets involved is she has some friends that went into zombie land and didn't make it out. And I think one of the girls has children. And so she wants to go with Dave and the crew to find them. But Dave's like, we're not going in there for that. We're going there to get this money and we're getting out. Um, that's the crew. He shows them where everything is located. They strapping up. Uh, yeah, they blowing up. All right, so this is the hallway to the vault, but it's booby trap. All right, so there are a lot of different things that they have to do in order to get past the booby traps to even actually get to the safe before they can even even try to unlock it. It's booby trap. All right, and so yeah, this is the convoy at the beginning of the movie that's driving. That's you know, I think this is the container right here that has this you know zombie inside of it. Don't nobody know what it is. What's in there? They're just taking it. And so he's that's right before he gets it open, and they go in there and they see the moolah, right? Um, and so now 
They're about to enter zombie land. You know, the trailer's all over the place. They're about to enter zombie land. And so they got the guard up. They're ready to go. Now, you notice old Jabroni back there, the guy, the, the this guy right here. Uh, where is he? This guy right here. Does he have a gun? Okay. Yeah, he has a gun. I didn't think he had one. Um, but she's like the, the lady that's been into zombie land. She's been around there. She knows how it works. She's their tour guide, for lack of a better word. Right? And she's leading them in there. Uh, they're getting ready to go out. And that's the thing. And this is the thing right here. Right here, you see the thing that's connected to it. This is the, the, the part that got dropped on that mother and daughter. I told you about at the beginning. Yeah, right there. And so they dropped that to close off the rest of the rest of the world to Vegas. Now, why they don't just drop a big nuclear bomb on it? I don't know. Maybe they couldn't, you know, control the... The, uh, the blast radius maybe it would have killed innocent people I don't know but so something that you guys should be aware of is that this the there are two types of zombies okay these zombies right here are like the smart zombies okay they're not your typical zombies now they can't talk or anything like that but they can communicate in their own zombie way and they're smarter, stronger, faster than any zombies that that's ever been, I guess. Uh, because they've been genetically, you know, modified. And so the blood is, you know, make them smarter. All right, they're supposed to be a weapon, but it didn't turn out to be that. But be that as it may, she is like the queen of the zombie clan. There's another type of zombies that are just brain dead, mindless zombies, okay? And when they open up the, the, the trailer to get to zombie land, they notice that there is this big pile of zombies laying everywhere, but they're not dead. They're not dead at all, okay? These zombies, I guess you can say they've been out in the sun too long, they've passed out, They've gone into a stupor. I don't know what they've done, but there are literally piles of it. And this lady says, y'all better hope it don't rain. Because if it rains, they're going to wake them all up and the funk going to hit the fan. Okay? Um, but it don't rain. They end up being all right. But there's two types. And those zombies, they're just mindless uh, type zombies. Shoot them in the head, bam, you're done. These zombies, not that simple. Okay? These zombies are, like you said, smarter, stronger, faster. You know, they can adapt to things, right? And the tour guide has to offer the zombies a sacrifice, all right? There's this guy who went with them, and he's a rapist. And so she shoots the rapist in his leg, ties him up, and offers him as a sacrifice. Meaning that we, you know, we come in good faith. We're going to give you one of ours. Just let us come through, give us safe passage, and, and you know, we ain't gonna have no problems, Do you right? Smell what the rock is and so they go get the guy, and you know, so that's what the queen is doing. She's walking up to the guy to grab him, all right? Um, yeah, you know, she's letting everybody know is everything's all good, everything's all good. All right, they're smarter, stronger, faster. See, they're communicating, that's the king and the queen. All right, so this part right here is they've gotten the safe open but now they're trying to but here's what happened okay one of the zombies approaches okay but oh I, I, one of the dudes that goes with them he's a part of the whole you know government conspiracy theory and he's not going in there for the money okay well sort of but he's mainly going in there to get a sample of one of those zombies to bring him back so they can create an army. He's being paid to do that. Okay? And end up what happened, one of the zombies ends up approaching him. And he ain't like, you know, he was he ain't like what was happening, so he shot it and killed it. Okay? He shoots at it and kills it. And he goes up to the queen. Right? He goes up to the queen and uses what's those things that's in the Hitman video game, the wires or whatever? And he cuts her head off. Now, she's not dead because he's a zombie. All right? She's not brain dead. You know, just 
body is gone, but the, the, the face is still alive, right? He still, her brain is still working. And so he's like, I'm gonna keep, take this back with me. Well, uh, got a problem. The king of the zombies finds what happened, sees the body of the queen laying right there, and he lets out this big screech and the scream, and all hell broke loose. So what once was a quiet, peaceful little, you know, supposed to be a little quick extraction of some dough, turns into uh, everything just, just by the turn to a bloodbath. And so this is Batista right here trying to fight one of the zombies that he just can't seem to stab, right? And this is the part where they took the sacrifice into this like pool area looking area, right? Cause they gonna turn him right there. That's the king. All right. And so, yeah. So now all hell done broke loose. They're trying to shoot, shoot their way out, get out. All right, this is the beginning of the movie where everybody in Vegas is turned. Uh, they're trying to use, you know, like jets to like kill as many as they can, drop them. And but as you can see, it just it didn't work. Um, ooh, and the king zombie, king zombie is what I'm gonna call him. He gets into a fight with Omari, Omari uh, Hartwick. Yeah, I, I remember his name, Omari Hartwick's character. And Omari tries to fist fight the zombie. Omari gets his ass whooped. I mean, this zombie lays the smack down on his candy ass. Okay? He was too big, too strong, too fast, too powerful. I think Omari may have got a couple licks in. Didn't phase him. This zombie whooped his ass. Okay? All right? Right here, you can see him. Yeah. That's Omari right there getting knocked half getting knocked in the next week all right this is the hang on i'm trying to pause it right here bam no bam no bam yeah so they're dragging this is the sacrifice at the beginning the guy they said the rapist who gets sacrificed he's being dragged through the army of the dead you know the title and uh they're about to perform a ceremony because they're going to turn him into one of them all right, um, I can't remember who, I think she was the woman that was Batista, I can't remember. Or was she one of the one, the one of the ones that was, that went in before and didn't make it out? Cause I know it was some, it was some women in there that they, uh, Batista's daughter tried to find and get out. I think she was one of them. All right, um, this is at the beginning where they're playing, you know. Oh yeah, this is, hang on. All right, this is toward the end when they're trying to escape and get out. But what happened is, is that towards the end, Batista gets, gets has to go back and save his daughter and the, you know, the hostages that, or the girl that did never made it out. And the king zombie gets in the helicopter, and Batista's trying to fight him off. Um, and Batista got bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the helicopter ends up crashing. All right, so let's see. All right, so yeah, this is the guy who ends up. See right here, this is the queen. He uses these, you know, thing, you know, whatever you call them, thing, you know, wires or whatever, cuts her head off with it, and that's what starts the whole, you know, riot of zombies, if you will. All right, so that's him getting, you know, the the safe open. Um, and yeah, so they're trying to get out. The money's flying around. And they're like, damn the money. Let's just get the hell out of here. All right. This is the beginning where everybody's getting turned and snacked on. All right. He's in the vault. They got it open. He's like money, 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 money. All right. And this is the part where they just start coming out of nowhere. And he, Batista is, you know, Do you doing his, uh, Marcus Phoenix impression from Years of War. Uh, trying to get out of there. Jumping and shooting and all that good stuff. Yeah. They're trying to, that's the beginning of the movie where they're trying to kill off as many of they can, you know, with those heat seeking missiles. <laughs> um, now, these are two separate things, okay? I know the trailer made it look like that, you know, when the when the air 
pilot drop those missiles that Batista was in the area where no, these are two separate scenes. Those air, those missiles were in the uh, the middle. This was in the middle towards the end of the movie where um, this explosion happened. I think they shot one of the canisters or something that had gas in it. That's what I'm saying. You know, they, they make it try to seem like something that's happening in the trailer is happening in the movie when in fact it's not. Good editing, but that's not what's happening. Um, oh, yeah, and this is Big Damn Zombie Tiger. I don't know if this thing can see, but it was huge. And uh, the character, the guy that chopped off the zombie's head with the wires, you know, the military guy, that who's a part of the whole conspiracy um that zombie jacks him all the way i mean not the zombie the tiger that tiger snacked on him you hear me i mean that man was in some bad shit and it bit his head off okay bit his head clean off all right there it is right there. All right. Yeah, that guy. The, the, the tiger bit off his whole head. Jacked him all the way up. So this is at the beginning of the... Um, of their... Trying to get in, I guess. You know, the... Because apparently they get into like this building. And the zombies are asleep. Well, somebody does something, and the, I can't remember which character it was. One of the girls, where it ends up waking up one of the zombies, and you know it's a domino effect. One zombie wakes up, another one wakes up, and then before you know it, all of them awake, and they're right there in the middle of them. Needless to say, some people didn't make it out. But yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, this is pretty much it. All right. So J Rock says this. We have to ask the question, and I'm going to put a poll up, but I also want you to drop your comment. Which was be be better for this? Was it the movie or was it the trailer? Wow. Considering how long this movie was, okay, and considering how I thought this movie would have been a lot better if it was not as long. Right? It, it was just unnecessarily too long, right? It's like you're trying to get everything in here. It's like sometimes less is more. And I think that's what happened in the case of this. Uh, but I would have to say in this case that the trailer was a tad bit better than the movie. Because the trailer hyped it up to be this action-packed type movie. Now, don't get me wrong. It was action in it, but it wasn't action packed, right? Now, look, I'm not saying every second of the movie has to be filled with action. That, that, that's not what I mean, all right? But the way the trailer presented the movie was like it was going to be a bunch of heart pounding, action packed type movie where these type of zombies, you're going to have to figure out different ways to kill them, right? Because you're going into their territory to try to retrieve money. And then you're gonna have to get the money out but deal with them too. That's not what this movie was. Not at all. Uh, some action. Uh, the movie wasn't horrible. But I'm just saying that's just how good the trailer was for me. At least it was to me. All right? So I'm gonna give the movie a 2.5 on a scale of one to five. Two and a half. And I'm gonna give the trailer uh, a 2.9 not a 3 not just a 2.9 okay because the way the trailer sold the movie first of all I ain't even and when I saw the movie of two hours hey they must have a lot of action in it no 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 they had maybe about a good I would say a, a quarter in between a quarter to two quarters of the movie was was action not even half the rest of it was just you know plot building character building you know storytelling 
which was okay, but it didn't, you know, didn't blow my socks off, right? Outside of that, just typical shoot 'em up zombie movie. So in this case, I gotta say the trailer was better than the movie. Uh, but that's Jay Rock's opinion. What's yours? All right. If you got a chance to watch the movie, what did you think? Did you think the trailer was better than the movie, or was the movie better than the trailer? Did the, tr the movie live up to the hype? Post your comments down below and let Jay Rock know what you thought of his reaction to his movie versus trailer review. Okay. Drop your reaction comments down below, all right? Let me know. No rhyme intended on that line, okay? And if you enjoyed The Great Ones movie versus trailer review, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, I don't care. I'm still going to do my thing, okay? And be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda. Forever. And this man, uh, ow, well, J-Rock is cooking.